Hey everyone, this is Fareed, the creative director here at Enor, and today I want to go through adding a page in DNN. Um, so let's say your site um, has DNN as its content management system, and you wanted to add a page. The first thing you want to do is log in, and we're going to log into the admin backend. Um, you want to type in your admin username and admin password. and now we're in the back end. As you can see the control panel has appeared the different panes are being identified and also you can see now the the module arrows have appeared too. So the first thing you want to do is go to the page functions and click on add and then you have to type in the um, settings of your page the first thing is a page name. We're going to call this test page. You want to uh, type in the page title. And you might want to type in a descri description and keywords. So these four fields actually um, our important fields, number one, they're, um, they determine the meta tags for anyone who is familiar with SEO. Um, the better, more descriptive meta tags you have, um, the better your chances of popping up early in Google when someone searches for your site or searches for some keywords. Um, and that can be very helpful in marketing if you're the first, you know, you pop up number one on a Google search page. Um, also the page name if you have a friendly URL rewriter as you can see this URL is kinda ugly and sometimes you can install a module that'll make it look pretty uh, meaning just human words instead of this default dot ASPX um, and all these symbols this page name actually in those cases will be the um, URL of your page so in this case it would be test page dot ASPX at the top of the um, the browser you can see this will be the page title um, here it's Enor test page so when we're done um, creating the page that will be showing up at the top of your browser and description and keywords um, again are, are for SEO purposes you can choose a parent page um, that'll determine the structure of your site so as we can see here web analytics is a parent page of business discovery um, consulting um, so reporting and analysis is the parent page of consulting and um, the other way around consulting is a child page of reporting and analysis and that's a child page of web analytics and here's where you determine that. We're going to go ahead and leave it as its own parent page. You can do different things like cha um, pick a template for it if any um, anyone has created a template for you. You can include the page in your menu. Sometimes you have pages that um, you don't want to be at the top in your menu. Uh, maybe it has a form, maybe it's a thank you page or something like that. Um, but in this case, we're going to go ahead and leave it in the menu. Um, it's going to be, since it doesn't have any parents, it'll appear at the top. If it did have a parent, then it would appear under its parent. Let's go down here you can choose the um, permissions for the page you can have either all users view the page you can have registered users only view the page that means customers would have to register and sign in um, you can have both um, you can have different people edit the page sometimes you might have a webmaster role you can create these roles in the back end um, and you might want only webmasters to edit this page or view the page um, you can do that as well um, if you leave the page, all of these unchecked, the page will only be viewable to administrators, and that's good when the page is under construction. You might want to create the page and it's not ready to go live yet, then you would leave everything unclicked. For this purpose, let's go ahead and leave it, um, let all users view the page. You can copy the page from another page, and now let's look at the advanced settings. Um, there's a couple things you don't have to worry about here. The, um, I want to go ahead and go through um, the most important things. Page skin. That will determine how your page looks. Um, different page skins have different panes, which will allow you to put different um, modules into it, have a different layout. That will determine the layout. Um, it's not specified here, so it's going to do use whatever the default is. 
um, in the back end. So I want to um, actually, for the, the purpose of this video, show um, a different page skin. So let's pick um, Enor skin's left content. Page container, I'll be explaining the containers later on in the um, modules video. But here you can actually choose a default container that will um, be applied to any module that's um, added to the page. Maybe you wanted to disable a page. You didn't want people to look at it, um, but you didn't also want it to be functional. You can disable it this way, or of course you can have um, only administrators view the page or edit the page. Finally, it's possible here that you um, want you want to create a link in the menu, say, like contact us or something, but you want it to go to a file, you want it to go to another site, you can choose for the that link, the page link, in the menu to actually go to another URL. Um, you might want to put in google.com. You might want it to go straight to Google. You can choose to have it go to the same link, go to another page on the site. Um, that might seem weird, but perhaps you want to have two links in the menu to a certain page. Um, and you didn't want to create the page twice, so you can do that. You always have that option. Or let's say you wanted to link it to a PDF or an image or something. You can upload the file to your site and have that page link in the menu actually link to that file. We're going to go ahead. And, I want it to be its own page, so we're going to click None. And always, rule of thumb in DNN is to click Update or your um, changes will not be saved. So we're going to click update. And now you can see the page has been added. This is the skin. This skin is different from the home page skin in that um, if you look at the home page skin, it had three panes on the bottom, two panes on the top. This one only has a left pane and a content pane. So the skin actually determined that based on how the skin is set up by, by um, your developer. So that's how you add a page. Let's go ahead. Um, to get to the settings of a page, you would click, you would go to the actual page, make sure the page is live, and then go to settings in the page functions area while you're on that page. So we're on test page. As you can see, I wanted to show you also that the, um, here's the title, um, but we want to go to the settings of this page. If you click settings, you'll get back to the um, area that you were just at. I don't want to make any changes now, so I'm going to click cancel. Finally, um, let's um, delete the page. Again, to do anything to the page, for any of the page functions to work, you have to be on that page. So I'm on test page, and I want to go ahead and delete this page. So I'm going to click delete. Yes, I'm sure. And now you can see that the um, test page has been deleted. That's how you add, edit, and delete a page in DNN. Thank you very much.